I'm Daniel Mahalik. I'm the Legal Operations Manager at Branch Metrics, and we have been using Streamline for several months now, and it has been such a drastic improvement for the way that we do things, because as a startup company, we are always trying to find ways to be more efficient with our time and our people and our resources, and Streamline really gives us the ability to do that. So I'm thrilled to be here, and I can't wait to dive in more about it. That sounds amazing. So great. So great to hear that. And it's just been wonderful to work with you throughout that whole process, Daniel. So for our listeners, if you could just describe for them what it was like before Streamline um, AI was implemented so we can set the scene. Yeah. So before we had Streamline, things were honestly chaotic and very hectic. We were using a Google Sheet, as I'm sure a lot of people are very familiar with doing when they have either a small team or a small organization, or they're just starting, they don't know where to start, that this is a good you know, jumping off point. And we used that Google Sheet to really track requests that were coming in for the legal, the, the sales team that was handling contract requests, security requests, questionnaires, things of this nature. So everything would get logged and it would get a prioritization number in that Google Sheet and then somebody from the legal team would then go in and reassign that quote unquote ticket, which was just a line item in a Google sheet to someone on the team. And then they would peel off from the Google sheet and they would either work via Slack or email to work with the requester on the, the specific asks to get that deal to closure. We found very quickly, but this was long before I had joined the company, found very quickly that it was difficult to keep track of not only the tickets, because that's a really sort of um, old school way of tracking the information. There's no automation behind it. And doing it in that way meant that we didn't get a lot of visibility into, like I said, the number of tickets, the volume, the progress of each one of those asks coming in. And sometimes a sales exec or a customer success manager might have multiple tickets and they might be confusing these tickets because they're just seeing everything on a screen with little sort of help as to where to go next. And so what, what we were aiming to do with a ticketing solution is find a way to harmonize that chaos mm -hmm. so that everybody was on the same page at the same time and was reading from the same set of data. And so everybody was working from one point of view. I think that resonates with so many other legal teams out there, just this manual tracking of requests from so many different places, even if you're using a Google form, still dealing with tons of email as well as Slack traffic and not having that visibility leading to lots of escalations because everyone then jumps to the conclusion, right, that the legal team is holding things up when actually that's really not what's happening. So then... It leads me to ask the next question, which is what, what was the change like after Legal Desk? Sorry, after Streamline AI was implemented. Yeah. So since implementing Streamline, we as a legal team, but also our business partners, the stakeholders, and just generally approvers that we've invited into the system because they need to be part of this process, uh, have all gained access and visibility into the requests so that everybody knows exactly what's going on, right? That old adage, who's on first? We really know now who's on first and whose responsibility is it? Is it with legal? Are we waiting on a legal question to be answered? Or is it with the business, right? Legal has turned something, it's gone to the business and now to be presented back to the customer or the potential customer. The implementation of Streamline means that there's no confusion over where something is in this process. We know clearly it's either with legal or it's with the business and whose responsibility it is within that organization to take the ball to the next step. We've saved so much time. It's not quantifiable right now how much time we've saved because we're really early on using it. But anecdotally, people are telling us that they've saved so much time. The business stakeholders, our business partners, our legal team are all reporting anecdotally that they've saved so much time 
not having to do very one very specific thing, and that is chase an email thread to find out where something stands. Everybody can log into Streamline and see the ticket and see exactly what's happened because all of the information about the ticket is there because we pulled over data from Salesforce. But you can also see the request history and all the commenting that's been going on along with it at the same time. And the benefit here is if you're using email to track these types of requests, you have to make sure that a very wide distribution of people are copied on those emails because if somebody has to step in at the last second, they're not going to know where to go. They're not going to know where they are in the process, and they're not going to know how this story unfolds. With Streamline, you can jump right into a ticket and review everything that's happening right there on the screen, and you'll know exactly who's involved. You'll know exactly where the process is in the grand scheme of the, the ticket, and that just allows the process to be integrated, simple, the chaos is gone, and you can have anybody in the company step into a ticket and immediately know what's going on. This has been such an improvement for us to give that level of visibility and insight into what we are doing as a team. And then it helps to build trust and it helps to build some inclusion with the other folks that we're working, whether it's an approver or a sales exec or a customer service person or a customer uh, success engineer. Somebody like that, right? We, they can come to us and know legal's got it and they have a tool that they use and it helps everyone along the way. I love that so much. Just the idea of one system being able to translate to that really strong perception of legal's got it, right? Nothing's being dropped. There's no black hole here. Everyone's working from the same set of data, which is something that you've shared with me before. I love that that saying. Yeah. So then that leads me to, to my final question, which is, you know, you've shared already, Daniel, some of the benefits, uh, you know, that the system has been able to, to drive for you, but what would you say is the single biggest impact after implementing and using Streamline AI? Yeah, I mean, after implementing Streamline, the, the biggest impact is the immediate impact legal sees in being able to just organize all of this information in one spot. That just makes sense and it helps everyone along the way. But as we start to talk about this tool and others in the organization start to gain access to it or they start to hear whispers about what we're doing or did you, you know, we'll need to open a ticket in, in Streamline for that. Folks start to realize that this tool is powerful and it is popular and that popularity drives growth and that growth has caused folks outside of legal, outside of sales, to come to me and say, hey, Daniel, I need a solution for this problem. Here's my problem. I'm using a Google form for this, and I don't want to track Google forms and email anymore. Can I use Streamline to get this done? And the answer is overwhelmingly, yes, you can. And what we love about Streamline is that we've been able to bridge the gap for folks who are looking for solutions. They don't want to go out and get a new tool. They don't want to use Google Forms anymore, but we have this Swiss army knife of tools at our disposal with Streamline. So now I'm working on building processes for our people operations team, right? Two questions that they came to me with. I need a way for people to be able to request a new headcount, done. I need a way for us to be able to bring on a new contractor, done. And we were able to develop these workflows because the Streamline UI and the process behind it is very simple and very easy to use. And then I'm able to make that impact with other folks in the organization who are not necessarily legal, not necessarily, you know, your number one ticketing customer, but it is still, while these may not be or look like or act like your traditional tickets, what we're doing is we're solving inefficient processes by driving efficiency through one tool that we already have and building the workflow to support how we can do these things. And so once again, people operations, recruiting leadership, um, department heads can all come into Streamline, participate in that process, know exactly where everything is as we're going along. And at the end of the day, we're either gonna get, as for this example, a new job rec is approved and that job is then posted to Greenhouse or somebody's hired or brought on a contractor because we were able to do that process through Streamline. So at the end of the day, well, I think what it really gives people back is more time in their day 
And I can't think of anything right now more that people value or need or want than more time back in their day. And so we're incredibly thankful to be able to have partnered with Streamline and the team at Streamline because not only did this solve a big pain point for a branch, it's given us so much more in a very short period of time. That's amazing to hear. Thank you so much, Daniel, for sharing that. And just for your innovation and your willingness to, to see something that was still relatively new and, and immediately be able to link that back to how you could use this to improve, vastly improve the way that not only your team is you know, handling their operations and processes, but many other teams. And I think that this is a harbinger for so many other companies out there where legal, we no longer have to think of ourselves or feel like we are the tech laggards, right? That we can actually bring in technology that ends up transforming the ways in which so many of our other teams around us that we that we connect with, that they operate because we are in the hub. We are yeah. the connectors, right? Of so yes. many other teams. So thank you so much, Daniel. Yeah, no problem. I, and one thing I will leave you with, Kathy, is, you know, Throughout my career, the one thing I've heard from finance execs, CFOs, VPs of finance is legal is always a cost center. Right. And I don't mean that just in the financial way where we're always spending money, but we're also sometimes viewed as a cost center because of how much time it takes to get things done. With tools such as Streamline, we don't have to be viewed, and I don't think it's fair to categorize legal teams that use Streamline as a cost center because as Branch demonstrates with our partnering with people outside of legal, we're solving problems that are not just on the legal team. And so we're providing that value. We're giving immediate ROI to the proposition that it was, we want to go give this tool a test. We've identified at least one use case where this is going to help us. But now we are, it's so easy for us to see so many other use cases that it's hard to argue at least at branch that we're a cost center and we're more of like delivering for our customers, even if it's not your traditional customer that you think about. A hundred percent, right? All the major things that a company does cannot happen without legal. So we are really the change makers and the enablers for the entire business. And I think that you, as well as your legal team and at Branch, that you're leading the next wave of change in that perception uh, yeah. for the rest of the industry. So thank you again, Daniel. This has been a pleasure. Yes, thanks, Kathy. Appreciate it.